The leather jacket, the most badass and masculine menswear jacket in the universe of jackets. And in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the leather jackets from the jacket makers. The Alaric Alley Distressed Black Leather Biker Jacket and the Charcoal Navy Blue Suede Biker Jacket. The jacket maker sent these to me last month to check them out. But this is not a sponsored video, so I can say whatever I want. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about how they look, how they fit, whether they are worth it or not. And without further ado, let's begin. Okay, first up, aesthetics, how it looks. The Alaric Alley Distressed Black Leather Biker Jacket features the classic biker jacket design with the double-breasted feature with metal buttons, two side pockets, one chest pocket, and a belt. It features a hidden pocket on each side of the jacket. It also features zips on both sides of the sleeves. And check it out, right? This is the inside out view. The inside of the jacket is made of a quilted viscose lining, which has a nice touch on it. It is very smooth and it has a shine. As for the charcoal navy blue sweet biker jacket, it features a very minimalistic design, very sleek and very streamlined. It features a double zip in front, which means Means that you can zip all the way up and you can open the zip from the bottom as well. There are two pockets on the sides which is very subtle and it doesn't feature any zips. There are also two hidden pockets on the inside of the jacket as well. It also features zips on both sleeves to have a more snug fit on the forearms. Similarly, the inside of the jacket is made of a quilted viscose lining which feels nice to the touch. So for the design, I'm going to be giving both of them a nine out of 10. Very nice. Okay, next up number two, let's talk about the fit. The jackets that I got from the jacket maker are made to measure, so it fits me really well. They do have a made to measure option which will cost 30 USD more. The only thing I would say that I wish the armpit holes are a little bit higher to have a closer and a more snug fit. Overall, the jacket is roomy around the torso, chest, and arms. It is tailored to the body, but it doesn't fit close to the body, which is something that I kind of wish it did. So for the fit, it is not bad, definitely great for winter, colder weather seasons for layering, but for summer and warmer weathers, it is just a little bit roomy. So for the fit, I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Okay, next up, let's talk about its comfortability. Now, because of the fit of the jacket, I would say it is comfortable when you first put them on. Definitely feels comfortable right off the bat. The leather feels soft on both of the jackets and there is no break-in needed. So for comfortability, I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. Okay, next up, number 4, let's talk about its durability and its quality. It is made of full grain leather for the black biker jacket and it is made of a suede material for the blue biker jacket. Both of the zips are made of YKK zips and for the quality, because the leather feels really soft, it almost feels a little bit too soft on the black leather jacket. Although it's a good thing, I wouldn't say it feels super durable and tough, but it is not too bad, so for quality, I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Okay, finally, next up, number 5, let's talk about its affordability. The Alaric Alley Distressed Black Leather Biker Jacket retails for 250 USD. The Charcoal Navy Blue Sweet Biker Jacket retails for 270 USD. For affordability for a leather jacket, especially if it is made of real leather, it is really not very expensive, so I'm gonna be giving it a 7 out of 10. And overall, I'm gonna be giving the two jackets from the jacket makers an 8 out of 10. It is pretty good, right? Not too bad. They have so many different designs on their web page. Definitely can find a design that you like. And for the made to measure, the fit didn't wow me. Wish that it is a little bit more snug and fit closer to the body. And of course, you can definitely go with their regular sizing with their size chart, which takes a much faster time to ship as well compared to the made to measure which took more than a month. But overall, I'm really happy with the length of my sleeves and the length of the jacket. So made to measure definitely has its perks. But yep, that is it for today's video. If you love these review, make sure to smash that thumbs up button to let me know, yo, Evan, super dope review, man. Make sure to click onto the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell if you haven't done so already. Have a great day, y'all, and I'll see every single one of you in my next video. Bam.